Here's what I think of this toothpaste. Well, hey everyone, before I start talking about this toothpaste and a few other things I don't use anymore, I just want to say that I moved back down here to my basement because the lighting upstairs, even though I like the lighting in my kitchen, that's why I've been filming a lot of my videos there, but it's very dull and gloomy today. It will be for the next few days. But the thing is, as soon as I move to the basement where the litter box is, of course, Rocky comes down here, does a big poo, and it really smells. As you can see, I have my little diffuser going there. It has some essential, I think it might be pine or something. I'm not quite sure. Sometimes I actually mix two together, but there is no way that I would ever use an air freshener, whether it's a spray kind or the plug-in types. I was with some friends recently and we started talking about warnings on the backs of packages and how some people actually never read what kind of chemicals are in the products that they're using. For instance, air freshener. I was reading the warning on an air freshener and it said, use only in a well-vented area. And I thought, well, if your area is well ventilated, then you don't need it. Anyway, had a whole list of chemicals. And then people wonder why their kids get asthma or have breathing problems. Not just kids, but of course, adults as well. One of my friends asked if I had ever read the warning on tube of toothpaste. Just about any kind of toothpaste, but I happen to have this one. So when I got home, I picked it up and on the front, I mean, it looks really good because on the front it says free of artificial sweeteners and dyes, preservatives, parabens, and SLS, powered by 100% natural baking powder. Well, that part sounds pretty good, right? Which is probably why I bought the toothpaste in the first place. But then when you turn it over, here's what it says. Do not swallow. Caution, keep out of reach of children. If more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact a poison control center immediately. Avoid contact with eyes. Not recommended for use by children under 12 years of age. Use for periods for longer than eight weeks should only be under the supervision of a dentist. What? And so that is why I threw this in the garbage. I would encourage anyone to check the ingredients on their toothpaste and a lot of these other products they have around the house, see what's actually in them. So now the way that I clean my teeth is with just a little mixture of plain baking soda and salt. I mix it together then I run my toothbrush under water, dip it in there and it doesn't taste the greatest, but it doesn't taste terrible either. I have floss, but I don't use it very often. As you can see, I have quite a bit of it, but I do love these little interdental sticks or whatever they're called. They're very easy to use and they do a great job. And I also have my water pick. Swish with a little bit of mouthwash. And who needs toothpaste? Baking soda and salt are very inexpensive. So if you're trying to save money like I do, it's about one of the least expensive things you can buy in a box of baking soda and salt will probably last you a very long time. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye.